Hey guys, I'm here with Perry Matfell. So Perry, this is an interesting role that you have. Can you tell me what kind of research you did beforehand to prepare yourself? Well, this, um, this role was kind of like an actor's dream come true for me. You know, it's not just a, it's not just a mental or emotional, it's a fi it has a physical aspect too. So it kind of became like this full-blown research project for me, which I was thrilled about. Um, so I spent, not only do I have a blind consultant who's with me all the time, her name's Lori Bernson. She's wonderful. That's, she's actually, um, the story about In the Dark was inspired by things from her life, which is cool. So then uh, I spent about three weeks just shadowing blind people. So watching them get in and out of the car, watching them eat, watching them brush their teeth, like um, obsessing over the physicality of that. Um, and that's, that's just one part of Murphy's very layered, you know, she's, she has so, so much going on. So adding that physical component um, just made it even more of like a exciting research project for me. So you mentioned your consultant, Lori. How much of an influence did her life experiences have in the development of your character, Murphy? So it's, it's obviously, in, it's, it's inspired by, it's not exactly her life, but I think um, Mark Pedowitz, who's the president of CW, he met Lori um, and was kind of surprised by, he met this woman who was spunky and sarcastic and funny and goofy and witty and her guide dog. And I think it was kind of a change of perspective for him of like, wow, look at this woman who's so full of life and so, not defined by her blindness, but that has this whole entire world outside of that aspect of her life. Um, and that has kind of inspired Murphy, who's dysfunctional, she's sarcastic, she's kind of self-deprecating, she's this whole mess, you know, she has this very dysfunctional relationships with men, like this whole thing, and then, and then her blindness is just an additional aspect to her life. So how will we see your character grow and develop throughout the season? So she's, what's, what's awesome is this, this death of her friend kind of exposes her to a world that she's never really been a part of before. And it's kind of the first time she's stepping outside of her own, her own kind of self-hatred and, you know, um, so she's, she's, it's the first time she's kind of starting to live outside of her own head. And she has to do something about this for her friend. Um, so you see her kind of start to open up and kind of start to be a little more curious and, and a little more open to people in a, in a really fun way too. So Perry, what was it like to work with the guide dogs? Okay, well I am obsessed with animals. I don't know who, if, who, who isn't? Um, and this is like a dream come true. I mean, I, I pinch myself when I walk on set and there's freaking puppies everywhere, like sleeping. <laughs> and then we had, there was a scene that we had with um, a ton of like six week old black laps and everyone wants to touch them because who doesn't want to touch them? And um, we had to wait till they were done with their scene because if you play with them, they get so tired <laughs> and then they would fall asleep when we were rolling. So we had to wait, but, um, there's dogs everywhere, and Levi, who is who plays Pretzel, um, she is an actress, a very talented actress. So she's not uh, a trained guide dog, but we have Lori's guide dogs on set. So I've been able to learn what their process is like using a guide dog and watching a, an animal be the eyes for someone will bring you to tears. It's it's an incredible thing to watch um, an animal protecting the life of their owner who is their world. It's an incredible, beautiful thing. So when you first read the description of the show, you want to feel sorry for Murphy. But after watching the pilot, you begin to view the character in a completely different light, right? Yeah. And that's that's kind of the whole thing is like um there's I there's there's times when I talk about the difference of of why it's why I have a hard time letting people in because they come with so much compassion and pity and that's this whole thing and my character isn't defined by that. She doesn't, that's not, that's not her thing. Um, so it's kind of a different, that, that was part of why Lori inspired this role because she, she is full of so much and 
she's not limited in any way. So you won't feel bad for Murphy. If anything, you'll relate to her um, and you'll want to root for her. And she's a flawed hero, which I think everyone can connect with. Um, but she doesn't, the last thing she would want is for anyone to baby her or feel bad for her. And this opportunity with what happened to her friend is kind of the first time she feels like, okay, you know what? I need to show people that I can make something of myself and I can, I can, I have a sense of purpose through this, so. The message will impact many people with visual impairments and other disabilities by allowing them to connect with it. And, and what's, what's, wonderful is not only do we have multiple people in the cast that, who are blind, um, the majority of our background and extras are blind too. So every day I'm around blind people and I mean I get to talk to them and ask them questions and I'm loving, I'm loving the representation of them in a way that's different than I think blind people are usually portrayed in the media. This is a very different, very different representation which is I think much more accurate.